Hi Piggy Piggy. How you doing little Piggy? Hey Piggy Piggy. Let me step on your head. Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? This is episode number 33, Brain Fart. We are Larry Bird today. Yes, number 33, the immortal numbers of Larry Bird. French Lick, Indiana. Okay, you know I'm from Boston when I start like that, don't you? <laughs> yes, I hope you know who Larry Bird is. If not, go look him up. And it's not Big Bird, even though he was a big bird. It's not Big Bird. No, it's Larry Bird. And believe me, when you go watch a Celtics game and he's sitting in front of you, you can't see anything because he is tall. But anyways, today, <laughs> enough of the Larry Bird. <laughs> um, we are going to build a farmhouse. Yes, not the normal typical farmhouse, but a farmhouse nonetheless. So let me go show you where uh, we are going to do that. And my ride of awesomeness. And here we go. Um, I don't know if you saw in the last episode, but we we blew this up in the other world, and I had a hundred in it <laughs> for a hundred subs. Can you imagine that? Somebody actually subbed to me a hundred times. That person must be a pretty brave fellow to want to follow me. Wow, what a difference! I just realized that my microphone is on a boom stand. I just realized the boom stand was touching the desk and it was getting the vibrations of the computer. Now it's gone. Now I don't have this low buzz in the background. It's pretty awesome. But anyways, this is my farmland. I have all the crops and everything that I want in here. And the, the issue is um, that you can't really tell. Oh, I'm flying. I'm flying. Um, all these chests are out in the middle of the farm. So we need a farmhouse to store all the chests in. So um, this area right here is going to be where I'm going to do the chorus farm. So we can't build it there even though that would be a great place for it. And then I was thinking maybe over here at one end of the farm. But you know what? Um, I'm thinking I might just stick the farm up here. Um, because it would be a better place for it. So... What I'm going to do is, um, whoa, I'm going to stop flying. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to clear out some land here and get things going. Uh, and I'll show you the design or at least the framework of the design. Especially interested in the Now, it's so far, are these visual things the only effects you've had? No. What other effects? It's all to do with colour. It's all to do with round, with shape. It's, everything's coloured. Everything we know is oh, it must be to do with orange. Not only with orange. I haven't seen colour. I live in a monochromatic world. Alright guys, as you just saw, I'm going to speed up that last footage because it's there and I can speed it up and whatever. Um, I filled in this area, I terraformed a little bit to um, make the area for the farm a little bit better. Let me just, I don't like these two high or even three high things here. Oh jeez, we'll put that one there anyways just for fun. 
So this is going to be the size of the house. Um, it's not too big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And um, I there's a subreddit called Evil Buildings, and every once in a while I'll go on there to look for ideas. And I saw this evil building, and um, decided I'm going to make it here. So I was going to throw some more glass down, but I got to make some more glass first. So let's give a fly down here. I'm going to have to. Um, I'm gonna have to put a crafting table up here and a pathway to get up and down. But it's kind of nice to be able to jump up here and end up next to my bed down there. But I think the bed's gonna end up being in this building when I'm done with it. So let's let's see. Uh, two, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One. One, two, one. So that is what the building's gonna look like. Let me uh, just finish up the front and uh, put some bird poop on here. Because we all like bird poop, don't we? We do, don't we? The, the bird poop. I actually never looked at this block as bird poop. I actually rather like it. I'm, um,. Kind of a slip gator fan, and um, he likes the bird poop, and he he turned me on to the bird poop, and as a matter of fact, he likes the bird poop with the blue glass. So yeah, a little design like this. I'm gonna guess this is pretty much close to the right. Uh, reach. I had made this in a um, in my creative world, but I realized after I was done making it that it is a little too uh, small. You guys had forgotten about the chorus farm, and you guys are like looking at this, like, "What the hell am you doing?" And you know, I'm kind of looking at this, going, "What the hell am I doing?" Wow, this is gonna take more blocks than I thought. Um, let's see. No, no, no. Only one there. It's kind of strange. Oh, it's not right there. I have a gaming mouse, but I, <laughs> I don't like it. Too many buttons. My fingers are too fat. So I'm going to have some sort of weird overhang like this. Let's see what this looks like from afar. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to work on this for a little bit, and I'll be back with you in a bit. All right, guys, I had completely messed that up. <laughs> That's why I seemed a little confused at the end of that last clip. I was thinking like seven high and um, did seven length. I don't know. I messed that up. So this is actually the, the size of the entrance to this, um, whatever you want to call it, storage farmhouse. And it is going to be glass like that. So it is kind of weird. <laughs> but... We'll deal with the weirdness. Um, I kind of like the way it looks. I've made this in creative. Ma not at this size, but I have made this in creative. Um, so let me get a little bit more down and I'll show you what it's going to look like. All right, so there it is. Um, not the whole building, of course, but uh, the front entrance way. Oh, man, oh man, oh man. I'm going to have to do some serious terraforming around here, too. Um, so that's what the entrance is going to look like. It seemed pretty weird when I was making it, but I'm like, well, let me follow through with it, and maybe it will be something decent. And I actually, <laughs> believe it or not, um, 
I actually kind of like this. Is it right though on both sides? That's the thing. Is it right? It is right. So, um, these are the blocks that you're going to get for this building. So we got blue, how original. And look at that, my right button doesn't want to work. Uh -huh. And we've got stone slabs, pretty normal, and bird caca, which Slip Gator got me really into. So basically, I'm going to do the same design there, same design over there, same design over there. And we got a box, the four squares of what this building will be like. So I am going to make those and I will be back um, and then we're going to be doing, um, because obviously there's no, not going to be any roofs on here, <laughs> roofs, <laughs> um, I, the roof is going to be a dome and these pillared areas are just going to stick out from the dome. So. It's going to be weird. The roof is not going to be glass. The only glass is going to be on the facades that face out in each direction. And there's going to be an entrance in each direction. And the chests are going to actually <laughs> go like, kind of like this, up the wall. You kind of get the idea. I'm actually off one. It's going to cover the glass. but So I'm going to have chests on all four sides like that. And a little entry uh, center area or something special like I don't know fountains rainbows I already got my rainbow hmm. I don't know we'll get there when we get there so I'm gonna finish the rest of four sides of this and hopefully it still looks good <laughs> all right guys I have finished up the outside walls as you see on all four sides so let me get over here and kind of show you what it looks like the reason why I gave you that angle I also finished one quarter of the roof um, but yeah, that's kind of what the outside of the building is going to look like. Let me show you, um, what the roof is going to look like. The, the roof, the roof, the roof, is it roof? <laughs> is it roof or rough? What is it? Is it rough like a dog or roof like a normal person? Um, this is what the roof, <laughs> the rough is going to look like. Oh, not with the piggy. Hi, piggy, piggy. How you doing, little piggy? Hey, piggy, piggy. Let me step on your head. So, <laughs> um, I initially, in the creative world of the roof, I had it differently, but I kind of think I like this better. Um, it kind of goes with more of the angular pushing out of the, the roof here. Um, and... Yes, I did call this, I am calling this a farmhouse, even though it's not going to look like a farmhouse. Um, I'm probably going to border the door here also, and I'm going to stick it like a fence gate or something in here as a door. I'm not going to stick a real door in here, I don't think. Um, but on the inside, this is what the ceiling is going to look like. So it's going to be a weird building. Um, and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Um... So I just got to do the other three sides of the ceiling and this building is basically done other than the floor. And when I was in creative world, I spent more time trying to figure out what I want to do with the floor. Um, and I still don't have any idea what I want to do with the floor. Hey, piggy piggy. Are you stuck or something? Get out of there. Is that the Northeast corner? Is that, is that the direction you're going? Northeast. Of course. They say there is no, love for the northeast side of life in minecraft but i beg to differ so yeah i think it kind of looks good it might be a little overkill with the lantern here but um i don't want like a chandelier in the middle of the light up the middle of the floor and i don't think i'm gonna put lights in the floor itself i'm gonna try and avoid it thinking i might just half slide it on the other side put a row of diorite underneath this glass because I don't want grass. Hey, piggy. For some reason, whenever I'm saying, hey, piggy, piggy, I'm thinking of nine inch nails. Hey, piggy, piggy. <laughs> the way I just said that sounded like Primus. Hey, piggy, piggy. Tommy the cat is a cat. All right, enough of the Primus and 
9 inch nail stock. So I think even though it's a weird building, it's going to go good. And it will be a great place to put my storage from here so I can get rid of all these chests into here. And kind of, um, if you're at my base over there, you can go, oh wait, there's more over here. And so I definitely have to make some sort of pathway uh, around my rainbow. I'm thinking of making a new pathway from the secret exit over this ice and up this way to the farm and obviously something good can go in here um, this this is kind of where I initially was gonna put this building but I think I I decided well obviously I decided I didn't think I decided I've decided to stick the uh, building on top of the hill um, so I'm gonna get more of this building done and I gotta tear that thing down. I don't want that thing here. Um, but we'll, we'll leave that there for a little bit. And then we got a next episode or two. We're gonna tear this down and bring the chorus fruit over here. Um, and I'm gonna stick the chorus fruit stuff right here. So there's one more thing I wanna show you before I finish this building off. So I just saw a uh, video. My guy, I follow. Um, on Minecraft, you should too. His name is Garhoof Plays, and um, he's he's taking his Minecraft series more like a Zestonian series. He's a very heavy Zisto fan, and I've seen other people do this. And I never really paid attention to how they do it, but it does simplify the game a lot. And um, I guess he saw a Wells Knight video and made a video response um, to the video. Because Wells Knight do does what I do. You hear my cat in the background? <laughs> He's talking. He, he likes hearing about Wells Knight, I guess. Meow! But anyways, you see I got um, Sea Lanterns, Polished Diorite, and Blue Stained Glass. Let's just uh, say I only got Blue Stained Glass or whatever. Even nothing down here. We'll, we'll throw a pickaxe there. And I want to quickly get some diorite. I can just look at the diorite, click the middle button, and there we go. It goes to my spot. So look at anything that you have in your inventory. Oh, look, wait, I want to work with diorite. I want to work with the diorite. I got the diorite. Work with the glass. Work with the andesite. Work with the lantern. And it's just so much easier than going into the inventory and going like that. I can just go, oh. And I think um, that's going to save a lot of time. I mean, it's one of those stupid little things in Minecraft that once you learn that it exists, it's like, oh, well, that makes things easy. So I would like to say thank Scarhoof for um, showing exactly how that works. I knew it existed for creative, but I didn't realize it existed for 1.9. Um, that's when I guess it started. 1.9 so let's let's go take a nap and this is my favorite thing to do now just fly over to my bed and each time I hurt myself so I'll be back when the building is basically done other than the floor all right guys I have done some work on my building and it is basically done I still have to do the floor so let's uh, see what it looks like we're looking up the hill and oh well you can't really see that much of it so let me go up there and give you a look um, uh, look she. Let's go, look she. Hey, bunny. What are you running to, bunny? Hey. Hey, don't hurt yourself. Come here. Yes. Aw. There you go. I don't waste my golden carrots on just anybody. So there you go. Um,. It is a weird looking building. I must admit, it is weird. And obviously, I gotta do some terraforming because who's gonna wanna fall out here and then break their leg? Um. <laughs> but I like it. That's right. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. It's only a farmhouse that looks nothing like a farmhouse, but I like it. And that's basically what it is. It's something that I like. It's. 
trying to break the norms of normal building um, and I don't know it's not exactly what I was looking for I gotta make sure that the light levels down here on the floor are correct um, not too happy with the way the entrances I mean I like the way the entrances look because it mirrors the the triangular shape that I also did on my um, wood farm so it kind of relates to that over there with different blocks and it was just something different and weird and something I thought looked good and um, the only thing I'm really concerned about is mobs coming in here because a whole bunch of chests are gonna be in here I don't have any wood on me but um, I showed you quickly before um, the chests are are gonna be lined up kind of like this going up the wall on top of each other kind of staggered and each one will have an item sign on it with the different product from the farm so if I ever needed anything from the farm I can come in here and get it and um, I feel like I have way too many chest space now didn't really think that through but I need like 40 double chests in here and um, I didn't want to make a normal storage room and I didn't want to make a barn or a silo and turn it into a storage unit I wanted to make something unique and different um, and the design is not based on a design but inspired by a design I saw in evil buildings reddit post I think I've mentioned that a few times just so you know um, Plus, from up here, I can just basically go, let's go flying, and we go flying. Hey, what? Wait a second here. There I go again, falling in my water. <laughs> um, that, I don't know how that happened. But I have a feeling somebody is kind of pranking me a little bit on my 100 subscriber video. I think that's what this is all about. Um, but there we go. Uh, we have 100 subscribers. So uh, I did make a video on the 100 subscribers. And I went to Hermitcraft and I blew up the world in Hermitcraft. Not how I had intended. But I still blew it up a little bit. And... Um, the final explosions, I should say, um, was on the green eyeball floating high in the sky. And inside it had the hundred like this. Actually, I had the hundred. <laughs> it had the hundred like that. But I had to fix it in the video because I derped so bad on that video. <laughs> I just was never expecting to ever make a hundred subscriber video and I didn't have time and I'm still dealing with a whole bunch of issues so I kind of threw something together quick and I wanted to tie it into this world so I I made this thing obviously and um, kind of hinted at I was doing something and that something was to blow up the Hermitcraft world which kind of failed because there's too much redstone there and you place TNT I was if I were to do it again, I would set a grid up in the sky and run redstone across it and have TNT every, you know, I'd have a grid like this. Let's see. With holes like this and just sticking TNT in each one of the holes and having a redstone pulse go down and then ignite it all and have it all fall. But I don't have the time to set that up, and I'm not an MC edit guy. I don't really know how to use the program, or else I would have MC edited it and edited it, edited it into the video. But I am not that guy. So this is um, what you have instead. Um, the green thing got blown up in the Hermitcraft world, and as an icon or a tribute to the 100 subscriber special, this got 
pretended to be blown up. Actually, I did blow it up a little bit to get the randomness up top. And I blew up some of my ground here, which is fine. Um, this will stay here as a tribute to the 100 subscribers. Um, and I must say, Mr. 100, let's see if I can remember his name. Not so not so gaming. Not so not so gaming. Hello there. Thank you for subscribing. Being number 100. Um, I will probably go back to 99 before I hit 101. So <laughs> somebody, maybe we could do another 100 subscriber special. <laughs> you know how YouTube sub counts are. But anyways, I appreciate everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everybody who helped out um, and so has supported me over the years, even the people who have left, who have um, moved on with their lives and don't do Minecraft anymore, I really appreciate it all. So thank you guys for 100 subscribers. Thank you guys for giving me the um, motivation to make these videos, even when sometimes, you know, it's fun making YouTube videos, but not all the time you're in the mood for it. Um, and I really appreciate that. And I definitely am very happy with where my YouTube career is. Um, yes, I would love to make money and quit my job and, you know, lead a life like... PewDiePie or whatever Captain Sparkles that's more along the lines of you know Minecrafter I guess but you know that's really highly unrealistic that's kind of like me saying as a kid I want to become a movie star yeah well <laughs> it's not gonna happen and I know uh, doing YouTube is not gonna happen I'm never gonna make enough money to do this on my own but I'm still gonna enjoy doing it and I really appreciate the support from you guys um, and this is going to stay here for a while to in recognition of that. So thank you guys. Have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Episode number 33. First episode at 100 subscribers. I really appreciate the support and the love that you guys have shown me. It really means a lot. And I'm going to keep on trucking for a while because I don't plan on stopping making videos. And um, so at least the video on Mondays and Fridays still... And probably in a month or so, there'll be a third video each week. But till then, have a great day. Ah, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Work-related injuries, you're going to love it. Have a great day. <laughs> um, this is Keith from KMA's Corner. Thank you for the 100 subs. Guys, it really means a lot. And that's going to be there for a little bit. I'll tear it down when I figure out what I want to do with this area. But it'll probably be here for a good 10 episodes or so. So, peace!